Ooh, I'm having another fantastic hair day. You like my hair? Okay, so I've got another one. This one is called Night the Night Cream. Um, I put it back in the bottle so that you guys could see it, but it is from Insta Naturals. Um, I have used it for the last few days now just to kind of test it out and see how it works. And basically, it um, hydrates and plumps the skin. So that's what it looks like. This is the box it comes in. And it says it's plus 5% niacinamide, plus 10% vitamin C, plus matrical 3000, plus rosehip oil. So there is rosehip oil in this. So if there's anybody with sensitivities to rose or anything like that or cannot have rosehip, just so you know, there is rosehip in here. So be careful. Um, it says uh, basically you'd need to cleanse and tone the skin. That's what we always do. Um, use the serum and fabricable and then distribute a small amount of the cream on face and neck with your fingertips in a circular motion and upward motion. Let the cream absorb completely into the skin for best results. Use morning and night. I have been using it first thing in the morning and first thing right like right before I go to bed. Um, there's been a couple of times where I haven't exactly, you know, I always wash my face, but I didn't tone it like I normally do. Um, I did notice that my skin, obviously, I mean, you guys have seen past videos, my skin feels really, really soft. So I really do like it because my skin is feeling really soft. I am, I have really bad problems with my eye bags. I've always had really bad problems with that, but at least they're soft. Like if you touch them, they're really, really soft. Um, that's why I've been kind of hoping I would get the, the eye serum from the other company that I'm trying to work with, but I haven't received that yet. Um... When I'm looking at the ingredients, it says uh, deionized water, organic aloe is like the second ingredient in there. And then you've got your glycerol and then your alcohol. There is safflower seed oil, uh, uh, niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, vitamin C, and vegetable, kosher vegetable glycerin glycerin there's argan oil avocado oil rose seed oil um all and apparently all of this is all organic oils evening primrose palm oil um a few other ones i can't i can't pronounce honestly um uh, organic goto koloa um a lot of the things that i'm seeing in here honeysuckle flower extract those are like the smaller smaller ingredients but it doesn't it, there's a lot of things that i can't pronounce but it doesn't look like they're unnatural products there's the glycerin and there's the alcohol which always goes into any kind of creams or anything but for the most part a lot of the ingredients that they're using in here is all organic which is i love that too so um i I'm going to have to give it about four and a half stars, almost five stars. The only reason I would not give it a straight up five stars is because it seemed to me that, especially in the first few days that I, it, it, and it may be just because I'm really dry, but I do try to stay as hydrated as possible. Um, the first few days, it took quite a bit more to get all over my face and down on my neck area than most lotions that I put on. Um, it It's not greasy per se but it does kind of leave like a little bit of a film and i'm not a big fan of the smell but that's also a personal thing too um i like a lot of ones that have more citrusy if i see something that's got a lot of vitamin c i'm hoping to have more of a vitamin you know a, like an orangey kind of smell or whatever the smell isn't unpleasant um but you can definitely tell that it's 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 got a lot of um combinations that are trying to work with each other to get to get it to go to, to I mean to create this this lotion so you can kind of just tell that it's it's how do I describe it it's you got rose oil in there you got argon oil and whatever you got a lot of a lot of oils and stuff that are competing on their smell and I always have had a sensitive smell so if you've got a sensitive smell just kind of be on the lookout for that but overall I would say I really do enjoy this product um, because it really lightens my skin and I, I do really feel soft I really do. So based on that, I would probably continue to use it. So 
that's it for my review on this. Um, this is an Amazon review that I have. So if, if you're on Amazon, please definitely vote me up. Um, we do try to test out. I know there's a lot of reviewers out there that give us a bad name. I know that they do. Um, but we, I personally, and I, and I know several other reviewers that I work with, we all do try to test out the products and give you our honest opinion. Um, so if you see stuff like that where we actually can show it to you and demonstrate it, whatever, um, please give all of those reviewers a thumbs up. Those are the reviewers that need to get, you know, recognized because we actually do test the products. Products. We're not just doing giving them random five stars. Um, but uh, I'm Ivy Allen. I do Ivy Allen reviews, and you can, can check out my website, um, Ivy Allen at blogspot.com. Um, you can go to YouTube and search me. I got a whole ton of, I've got, I think I've got over 100 reviews now. Um, but definitely take a look at my stuff and uh, let me know what kind of products that you guys would like to see tested. If there's something on Amazon that you that you uh, need to see, or if there's a type of product that you're looking for, I might have already reviewed it and you can search for that. So I'm Ivy Allen with Ivy Allen Reviews. If you do a Google search on it, you'll find me. So thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys um, taking the time to take a, to, to watch my videos and I'll talk to you soon.